Hi there. Hello everybody. This is Mark again from 26 million. So in today's class I'm going to be showing you uh, all the tools you should know about InDesign and how to use them. So it's going to be a quick tutorial. <laughs> There are, uh, it's a sort of two classes I'm going to make today. The first one I'm going to go through the tools and the second one I'm going to show you how to design banners, specifically pull up banner. <coughs> so let's get started. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is to create a new file. If you're opening for the first time it shouldn't show like this. So I'm going to go to create. So for this class, uh, you can create any kind of file. I'm just randomly in any kind of page gonna show you how things work and how the tools and how you should use the tools. Uh, it's going to be a sort of uh, six basic tools, the most used ones. I'm just gonna use any normal one. I'm gonna say uh, uh, tools. Uh, just for you to know the tools and how to use them. Uh, I'm just gonna use an A4 page. A landscape is okay for me. Uh, maybe I'm gonna say two or three pages. Let me just say three. And there's nothing special. You can just open the program the way you want. Any random page. good so here we are so I'm gonna start with the selection tool you know that for you to understand the selection tool there should be anything on my screen so you I can select click and drag so this is the shape tool under the shape tool I have if you click uh, right click and there's left left click when I say click I mean no more click using the left side when I say right click is a click on the right so under the shape tool if i right click here i'm gonna see all the shapes indesign has uh, those are the the standard shape that indesign designs for you which is the rectangle ellipse and polygon so i'm gonna use the rectangle which is the first one the one that you see on top is the one that is active if i right click and i say uh, ellipse tool which is the circle this is the one you see when I select it you'll be able to see that it looks darker than the others and this little dot or arrow in the corner here the white little dot in the corner it means that the, there are more tools hidden behind whatever tool is on top if I go to type tool under if I right click those are the tools that you can see uh, if I go to any of the the rest of the tool is the same thing so I right click here there is those two tools, uh, the type tool and the type on the path tool. If I right click here, this is the paint tool. Under the paint tool, those are the options that you get. The same with the pencil tool, uh, rectangle tool. This is for the frames and the normal rectangle tool and all, and all the rest of them. So I'm gonna uh, go to shape tool. When I select my shape, if I drag, you won't be able to see anything. This is how it looks. The only uh, thing you see is the circle, which is uh, black because of the stroke here. So if you want it to have something on the inside, you have to fill with something. In this case, I'm gonna fill with colors. So the colors I'm gonna choose is this one, yellow for the inside, pink or blue it's up to you so I'm gonna go put uh, yellow for now I'm gonna close it back back to selection tool now if I click where there is nothing I unselect whatever I selected or I select nothing if I click on any object shape or picture or text I select them so I can move this around up down 
right left like this so right now i click where there is nothing so if i go back to any of the shapes let me say this time i'm gonna uh, design a rectangle before i draw i can also choose the color which it's supposed to have and this time i'm gonna choose pink so and then i can start drawing before i draw if i simply click it's gonna ask me the size of the shape i want to draw indesign does it a lot so if you don't want this option you can literally just cancel or you can say click and then you specify the size of the shape you want to create if i want to create a shape that is uh, maybe a 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters if i say okay inside is gonna give me this is a shape that is 50 by 50 or i can just draw draw my own shape like this and those are the colors that it has the fuel which is pink and the stroke which is black you might not be able to see the stroke but if i change the color perhaps you should see if not i can increase the stroke on the on the stroke and then you'll be able to see what the stroke is and what it means so now the selection tool can work i go to my selection tool now i have things to select and move i can move this one i can move this one i can also rotate this by going in the corner here you'll be able to see the icon changing or, or the cursor changing i can select it as well i can resize it to make it small I can change the shape exactly I want, move it back, move it up, less uh, how you can selection tool. So that was selection tool. The next tool I'm is the type tool. Type tool is used for typing. Uh, if you type, if you click, when you activate uh, type tool right now the type tool looks square meaning that it's waiting for me to create my own text box so after creating the text box i am allowed to type so what i do my text box is that one and i say uh i can text testing you can write exactly anything you want thing for your text i put here is going to be within my text box if the text is not enough you should be able to see uh, this uh, plus red sign here as well as a mistake here or an error which means that something is not okay in this case is the text if i go back to selection tool i will be able to make my text box bigger so it can show all the text <coughs> if it show all the text the mistake is going to disappear and everything is going to be okay indesign does this a lot to remind you that there is something wrong or the text you placed in your indesign or in your artwork is not enough i mean the text is enough but the box where the text is supposed to fit is not enough good uh moving on uh i can still use selection tool to resize my text box to fix to increase or to fit it properly and then uh in addition to the text box i mean uh, type tool if i go back to type tool when i put my selection tool here and i select any shape those are the controls that i have I have the control to align it to the middle of the page i have the control to align it the way i want if i select this guy i can align it here i can align it here or i can align it here here or there like that right now i align all of them to the middle and then if I go back to my type tool and as I come to the type tool 
right now I'm highlighting all the text I have the controls that I have are related to the typing like for instance I can align them to the middle or center I can align them to the right or to the left I can change the color the font color is here this guy is blue I can make them all of them uppercase or lowercase uh, I can decide to make them subscript or under depending on what you want to do uh, I can underline them and I can as well bold them to bold in InDesign is a little bit different because you have to come under the font you choose and then uh, here I can find the options to bold or italic right now I have bold regular I don't have italic here because InDesign doesn't give the same options to all the fonts so if you want to put italic or if you want a bold or put anything that is not here you have to find the specific font which offers you the same uh, attributes you want to put on your text in this case when you see a text like this it doesn't have any other attribute this is on its own if the text has got an attribute you should see an icon or that indicates like this one so if I click here I'll be able to to see the attributes that this font has which are those ones that are listed down here and then if I select this guy all these attributes will be able will be shown here this is the attribute all these attributes are the ones that have been shown there I have bold, I have semi italic, I have medium italic, I have italic, regular, light and all of that. So this is more or less how you work with a type in InDesign. And the other things that you can also do with a type tool is the spacing. If I highlight all of them, here is the font size which I can increase or decrease and then here under is the spacing. I can increase the spacing between the paragraph or the lines if I increase they become a little bit far from each other and then I can use auto to use the automatic uh, sizes or I can reduce in case I need so you can always play with them if you want and then I can go back to the selection tool I do this all the time every time I set up anything I always use selection tool to make sure everything is in place because selection tool kind of uh, bring everything to the, to the standard or to the starting point because it's also the first tool so this is why I always go back to selection tool after doing anything now I can drag my text I put it anywhere I want so this is how you uh, play with your InDesign okay the next tool I'm gonna show you is the line tool line tool is very easy because the only thing it does is to create lines I make my lines like this I make my lines like that and I can change the color of my line to blue or to any line color I want and if I want to make straight line you hold shift from your keyboard as you hold shift if you make your line it's going to be hundred percent straight now after making your lines if you want to make your lines or your strokes bigger you can just increase this guy here and your line is going to be thicker or thinner bigger or smaller depending on how you say it and the next tool I'm gonna show you is the rectangle tool which has already showed but uh, under the rectangle tool there is this other tool here uh, which is called polygon when I select the polygon tool uh, I'm able to create my polygons right now I change the setting it looks like this because uh, I changed the settings here as the same thing I showed you first if you only click this window is gonna pop up and then this is the number of side and this is the the star inset inset it means that from here to here this is the inset this length here this size here if I use zero and I say okay <coughs> this is how it looks I guess in your computer it's showing the same way but if I just click this option is gonna come 
and then if I increase here for instance 50 and say okay this is how it looks it's gonna go in from here going in like this this is what it's doing here right so that is for polygon for the circle for the ellipse tool is just to make the circles like this and for the square or rectangle tool is just to make your rectangle or your squares like this and then unless you want to work with the corners there is this option here if I go to selection tool there is this corner options here that I can choose different corners for my artworks I can use round corners as well and you can also increase them or decrease them you can up increase and decrease in all of them and then I can go to my corners again and check which any other corner I want to use and you can get different designs and different concepts so you can just play with them and see any kind of shape you can use any kind of corners to come up with anything this one looks very beautiful so this is more or less how you can come up with your log your, your icons and your shapes and things like that this is when you want to make any kind of shapes that InDesign doesn't give you all right so and then the next tool I'm gonna show you is line tool uh, before the paint tool let me show you the eyedropper so eyedropper works like this if I select eyedropper my eye is this one uh, it looks black and white when I fill my eye drop with any color right now I feel as you can see if I click back again it empties I can feel and I can empty it right now that it's filled I can when I when it's filled I can give the color to anything I want and then I can empty again I can take the blue that is here you'll be able to see that it changed to blue and then I can give to this guy if I empty again I can take the black it's black now and I can give to any of them I can go take again empty this time I'm gonna take the blue I can give to all of them now the other thing that you can also do is bring an image If I bring an image to my artwork let me place this image here I can do the same my eyedropper is empty I can take the orange and I can give to my artworks right now it's only adding to the stroke because here it's only the stroke that is selected but I can change to the fill I go to selection tool I select my artwork and I go grab my eyedropper and then I can take the orange and then I can add the orange in all of them or I can empty again and this time fill with this green that is here you can see the green is in and I can fill all of them this is more or less how you work with your eyedropper and this is how the eyedropper works so if I right click on the eyedropper there is a color theme color theme is mostly to take the combination of colors that your artwork has uh, like in case in this case on this picture if I click on the color theme it's gonna bring all the colors that are on the artwork this it take it took this green and it took this yellow and this is the theme you can work with you can click here to see all the other themes that it's taking and you can choose which which color theme you can use if I say for instance I'm gonna take this bright what I do is I just click on this plus here once I click on the plus I can go back to my eyedropper <coughs> if I put always selection tool to go back if I go to my color to my color theme and I scroll down here this is the bright theme that I picked from here if I click here I'll be able to see all the colors I picked when I was here under the eyedropper or the color theme uh, tool and then you can use any of the color theme that is here 
I can select this guy <coughs> I go under my color theme click here to show all of them and I can use any of them so this is the reason why you can use the color theme so let me close this guy and then I'll go to the next tool I'm gonna show you is this one graduate feather the graduate feather works this way I can select the shape I want and then I can do this or I can do this depending on which corner or which side you wanna take it the graduate feather does this it fades from whatever color it is to opacity like this you'll be able to see that it's fading from whatever color it is to opacity so the might you might find situation whereby you need to use this uh, tool and as we're designing I'm gonna show you uh, ways and when you can need to use them so the next uh, tool I'm going to show you is uh, the pen tool which is this one here so this is how the paint tool it works here is the uh, all the standard sizes i mean uh, shapes indesign gives you in case indesign gives you anything you don't know or you don't want or you want to come up with your own shape you can literally just do this i'm gonna click here 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 and here i created my shape and then i can do anything i want with the shape I can decide to maybe put a picture in the shape there it is I can put a picture in any shape I want I can also put a picture in this shape here or maybe in this one now after placing my pictures the pictures come with the original sizes so what I can do is I can right click on them and then I go to fitting and then I can fit the picture uh, proportionally so it's gonna fit on the on the frame or on the shape I created And then after that, if you want to fit it properly, you can hold Control Shift and then you increase the picture so that they can be visible enough or they can fill the whole shape. So this is more or less how you can work with your paint tool. You can create any shape you want. Now, if you want to more uh, know more about the paint tool in detail, uh, this is how it works. You can skip or uh, go a little bit forward if you already know how paint tools works but i'm gonna quickly show you how it does and what it does i'm gonna go to the other page the empty one so i'm gonna put a paint tool i'm gonna create a, a quick drawing let me go back uh i select the paint tool and i, I normally like using uh, shapes or colors that is easy to identify paint tool and then i can do this So this is how it works I can create dots I started here right so I put dots around it as I'm making a shape of a car so this is the second last one on the very last one I put I go to the very first one you'll be able to see the icon changing from selecting or from adding to closing that circle it means closing as soon as I close my shape is created so I can go to selection tool and move it anywhere I want change the color or do anything i want to do with that right so in case i put any shape or any dot not exactly as i wanted i can literally do this i go back to the paint tool i right click on it and i see other options the first option i want to show you guys is the add anchor point if i select the add anchor point what it does is to add anchor 
right now i started putting dots like this one two three four five six seven i can add anchors here or here or anywhere i want and wherever i add anchors i can play with them if i if i want to remove i go to delete anchor point and i can delete this one this is the last point and the last point if i delete this one these two will be holding them like this if i delete this one these two will be holding them like this you see so if i delete this one there will only be these two holding them like this if i delete this one it will be this one and this one holding the shape so i delete this one and in case i want to move any of them i can go right click and i go to convert convert what it does it converts the shape if i hold control for my key i can move the dot where i want like this I can move the dot exactly anywhere I want and then if after moving here I can click minus from my keyboard and it's gonna change to the one that can remove and if I click plus from my keyboard it adds I can add here and add here and then minus to remove this and then if I say shift C shift C from my keyboard I'll be able to move this or select them and then as i'm selecting them i can choose to do anything i want with them in this case i selected this one i can hold control to move it around and then in case i want to make a round shape i i don't need to hold any keys i simply just move this guy around like this this is how we make round shapes so sometimes i want to make an eye drop so what i do is I go to I create a circle like this after creating a circle I go to uh, shift C so I can I'll unlock the converter I click in one of the dots and if I move it up it becomes a water drop to move up you just use your arrow key from your keyboard left up right center I mean left up right uh, left right up down to move them around to move right left up and down and you have the water drop and sometimes i want to make heart for those that are in love almost the same procedure and then control shift i mean shift c and then i do this and this side i do this and then i click down here and i move it down and then i have my heart if I'm not uh, satisfied, I can always hold control and move them around like this. And then this time I can do something like this. I think it looks more real or closer to the heart. And this side a little bit here. And then I can now move this guy like this and this guy like this i think this heart is a little bit closer to the real one you can spend a little bit of more time to do the heart or you can find other easy ways of doing them but this is uh, how you do them using the paint tool and if i need any other option or any other thing that you can do with the paint tool uh, is maybe converting the shape i can come up with the shape here and i use my pen tool to fix them nicely i can do something like waves where i do like this and then i can maybe do like this and then i move it somewhere close here and if i preview it looks like this so this is more or less all the tools i wanted to show you guys so thank you so much the rest of the tools i didn't really show because there is not much that you can do with them like this one is the same as the shape tool the only difference is that this is a frame and majority of the time we use them when you want to place pictures but it works exactly the same as this one i don't know very well why they are different but this is more or less how and why you use them and this is a hand tool 
it's mostly just to navigate around so the tools that i didn't show they're not really very important and yeah so thank you so much for watching and this is all the tools in in design i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for being part of that of the course uh, so have a good day and explore your InDesign. go through it and try out